All right, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and I've discussed this sneaker before but today in this video We're going to be discussing if the Canyon 4 purples coming up on October 15th If those sneakers are going to be bricks some sizes are already very near retail But I kind of want to discuss what I think about this sneaker and kind of my theory behind it since I'm seeing kind of an infrared 4 type situation here Or I feel as if it'll be very similar because I know people are very 50 50 in this sneaker There's some people that like the Canyon purples There's some people that just don't rock with them at all and I fully understand that but don't forget these are women sizing only but they have made now extended sizing on these because people wanted them so that's all i need to say again you want to check my instagrams any of that down below feel free and if you want to go join my cook group again go on our website right here click this and go get on the wait list again the wait list will not charge you again unless we let you into the group and we got plenty of things that can help you guys out with reselling you ever have questions you can hit my dm in the group whatever it is and i'll be doing some daily steals today some valerian dunks uh some some other dope items some some ones you all will be able to resell all under market prices all under stock x payout so yeah if you want to join we do daily deals sneakers aco ton of other features again you can see it all on the site we got testimonials everything y'all would be able to see really right here so that's all i need to say i hope y'all will enjoy and let's just kind of get started here so first things first and again if you want to go follow the socials do that so this is stock x classic this is just false as it gets saying the price is currently below retail because yes there may be a size or two below retail but there is pretty much no sizes that are actually below retail on this one if you go look look you have okay so you have two you, you have three sizes that are below retail on this one or, or let, let's say let's say five because technically it, these four you know pretty close or well this one's pretty close to retail this one actually is under retail so we have five sizes that are pretty much uh you know at retail price even this one's pretty close so some of the sizes are at retail price and will be below low or at retail price after drop day but if you go look at the normal sizes people would target right eight and a half plus in men's which would lead you to right around here so 10 w plus resale is pretty you know safe 270 320 and those bigger sizes it's going for like you know 320 350 so clearly some people want this sneaker there is some demand for it and the bigger sizes seem to be a bit harder to get there will be extended sizes i believe when this one drops on sneakers so that will settle the market a bit for it but just kind of taking that into account and mentioning it there is some demand definitely for the bigger sizes and i believe there's also a decent amount of sales on this one if i go look i believe it's a couple thousand yeah three thousand sales so nothing really too crazy but this one's just kind of been slowly dropping in price some sizes has some sizes have actually been making um, some progress upward. 12W used to be at 270, now it's at 300. So I'm just saying some of the basic facts and things I see and notice, which is you know some of the bigger sizes are a little bit higher in value, and they also have gone up a little bit before the sneakers drop, which. I mean, just saying, when you notice that stuff, typically, it means that it could potentially be a good hold. Now, one thing that I do think is going to happen with the sneakers after its release, those smaller sizes are going to tank heavy. They're going to tank to like 180, 170. Like those are going to be significantly below retail. So don't go for those unless it's, you know, for the personal collection. That's just kind of, you know, my thoughts and what I'm saying right here. But for the bigger sizes, those potentially could be a really good hold or, you know, a flip. They definitely will resell off the $200 retail. Yeah, these are definitely going to, you know, still be at a price that will resell really well. Same with the rest of these sizes. You'll still make a good 40, 30 bucks, uh, you know, on the sneaker, if, uh, you know, just, just by buying it. So... Don't forget about that fact. But personally, if I was to be holding this sneaker, I would hold sizes 10 and a half W plus. And I'm not going to go buy in pairs now. I'm really going to wait in this one. Like this is a big maybe. And the reason this one's a big maybe is because again, it is a woman's Jordan 4. And I don't, I don't even think woman's Jordan 4s have done too hot uh, over time. Let me go check this. No, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty wrong on this one, which I'm actually very happy to be pretty wrong on this one. Women sizes rise pretty well for <laughs> for uh, Jordan 4s. It's an easy $100 rise right there. So I'm just saying with this one being kind of lower in price, you know, the guys and ladies liking this one because it has extended sizes also. I'm just saying it leaves a lot of room for a potential hold in this one, even in the, uh, you know, smaller sizes a bit. I feel like we could maybe see some of those make progress upwards. So I may be looking into a pair, two, three, four, uh, you know, just to kind of hold on to, you know, put on ice for like a year and then check up on, you know, because I have seen this pair a few times in hand. I've done an in-hand review, I believe, on this channel. Like, I'm pretty sure I've made a video very similar to this one where I actually review the sneaker in hand. So if you want to go check that out, kind of see how it looks. I like how the shoe looks in hand. It looks like it would be a comfortable Jordan 4. It's just, again with how the demand is right now and how people are feeling about it. I feel like more people will like it near drop day. Definitely like around the 15th, we'll be seeing more people being like, yo, I need these. Yo, I, I'm starting to rock with these. I think we'll start to see that, you know, where people are like, hey, you know, I'm a big fan of these now when they originally weren't. And that'll kind of, you know, cost the price to go up a bit. And also it's a Jordan 4 right now. So it is a hyped model, but I'm not just saying every four goes up under the sun. That's why this one is a maybe and one I would only hold at your own risk. And 
to be honest, if you can, let's say you get it for 200 retail and you get a size that's reselling right now, you know, in this range of like 270, 320, you get one of these sizes that's reselling really well, maybe just take the quick flip. Don't even worry about the hold. Just focus on the future drops and the profit that you can make in the future, you know. Don't even worry about, um, you know, the, the little money you'll make just kind of holding a pair or two, you know, in the future. And honestly, I only encourage a hold on this one if you can do like really big bulk, like 10 pairs, five pairs. Five, that, that isn't even big bulk, five, 10 pairs. That's just kind of, you know, like simple, um, well, you know, it could it, again, it depends who you are, you know, what stage of, you know, reselling you're really in, but uh, five to 10 pairs, you know, for this one, that's, uh, I would say you would at least need that for to make this one worth it, because it's a pretty long term hold, in my opinion, if it was to rise. But yeah, that's everything I feel like I need to mention there. I don't feel like I need to say too much, because it's pretty self explanatory. Again, hold at your own risk. It's a nice colorway, wearable. I like the details behind it, and they have made, again, extended sizes on it, so just keep that in mind. Um, you know, they'll be dropping those more of them on, on sneakers release day and you guys will be seeing, uh, you know, market kind of drop and settle. And maybe that'll be when I come in, you know, if market drops with like, you know, infrared prices, like 220, 240, then I'm definitely going to say, Hey guys, you got to pick this one up because it's, it's just like a freebie at that point. Easily bigger sizes will go back up to 300. No Jordan fours in bigger sizes are near or even near retail right now. And also sorry about the background noise. There shouldn't be too much right now. Just, you know, again, I live in a shared household with roommates, so you're going to hear background noise sometimes, but that's it. So again, you want to check my code group, any of that down below. Um, I'm going to be dropping some pairs of these in daily steals I already have. So I've dropped some, you know, some pairs early for people in the U S at least because these have already dropped overseas, but again, I did that. So if you're interested in daily deals, join our wait list, seeing what we offer again, free ACO, early info, backdoors, everything you would really need uh, for, you know, a cook group to kind of learn the basics, get your reselling up. And again, you can always hit my DMs and ask questions. We're here to help and support you. Our team is very strong. You can learn how to bot all that. We can teach you it. So that's it. I'm Tristan. Check it all out down below. Give me a follow. I'm gonna go post on these pages and well, not my normal one. I need to post on this one and that's it. So I'm Tristan. Thank you guys. And hopefully I will catch you on the next video soon. Again, a lot of daily deals on the way. Canvas 4s, Cherry SBs, Dodgers SBs, all that on the way for daily deals. So stay tuned. But that's it. And hopefully I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.